Okay, this is funny. This is talking about using a whiteboard without using a whiteboard. <laughs> because I happen to be up at our summer house uh, during this lockdown period, and my whiteboard is back in Copenhagen in my office. However, the principles are the same no matter what you're doing. The presentation, if you're using a whiteboard, is based on these simple principles. You have planning, you have composition or design, right? And then you have positioning, okay? I'm going to explain this. Planning, what are you going to do, okay? What do you want to talk about? You can either choose to write while you are showing people something, or you can make a design on your whiteboard that allows you to point to different things, right? And your design should be clear. So you don't want to write lots and lots of stuff. You want people to be able to make a quick read, and if you have like items, like three items or something like that, they are, you know, item one, item two, item three, right? And it's just a simple little sentence just for the memory so people can understand what you want to say. Then you also want to not make your board complicated. So you have different places on the board that you are going to deal with when you write certain things out. And that's the design so that you can step to the side wherever it is and you're going to point to something and you will locate it. Now, you may notice that I do not write on my whiteboard when I'm using my whiteboard. That's because I don't believe it's necessary to inherently take the time for pe to show people something that you are writing. I think they see what you want to say and they register, the brain registers what you are showing them. And if you need to write it on the board because you're making a big long presentation, that's perfectly fine. But if you don't need to write it on the board, you don't need to waste their time showing them the words you're going to write. That's why I don't write on my whiteboard during my presentations. I write in advance. I also plan out the types of things that I want to talk about so I know what I want them to see and what I want them to understand. And I write the key components on my whiteboard in advance so that people can see them sometimes during the course of my talking. And I tend to move a little bit to get out of the way, right? So that's planning in advance. And then there's a matter of uh, design and composition. How do you make your different areas seem interesting, okay? If I have a triangle of stuff, then I'll put my triangle, I don't know, I can put it here or here. You know, I know right now that my whiteboard, this whiteboard, this fake whiteboard, is from approximately here to here, and from approximately here to there, right? So, in advance of telling you this right now, I sketched out my basic positioning. I would choose to make the different areas clear so that I can get out of the way of what I want to say when I want to say it. If I want to refer to something, I'm going to be able to move to the side and show you this stuff or something in the middle, right? And then I have things on the other side where I want to show you here and here, right? And what I want to show you here, I don't want it to be too close to the stuff up here. And I want the different positionings to be where I can locate myself away from the design so that you can see whatever it is that you want to, you know, that I want to show you. So that's the second point, composition. How do you make it clear on your whiteboard with your specific succinct points and designs. Then there's a matter of presentation, okay? 
and presentation has everything to do with understanding when I move your eye to one place or another. Very simple. All of these things you can see that they, you know, they, they, they fit together. The concept of planning, whatever I'm going to present, means that I pick out the points that are necessary. The design and flow involves where I place things so that they make perfect sense and they are easy to understand. And then the presentation within the composition of my whiteboard enables me to move to one side and show you this stuff, right? Here's something, okay? Here's another point, here's another point, here's a design thing. I tend to put my, you know, product or the, the idea up here someplace, out of the way, but people can see it whenever they want to. And the basic principles enable me to just move myself to the side and show them this or this or something in the middle and move myself to the other side and show them other things. And all of that stuff enables me to demonstrate what I'm showing on my video with my whiteboard without having to waste any time. But I also do one more thing and this is, um, this may be of value to you or not. I use, uh, I have two color pens. I have a blue one and I have a black one. Okay, you can also have green, you can have red, I don't know, you can have purple, whatever you want. Organdy, puce, fuchsia. <laughs> you can have any colors you want, but make it look interesting. Make little bullet points. You don't have to make, you know, my, my writing sucks, but I just want it to be clear enough and I want sometimes, you know, if I have a triangulated design, my concept of body, voice, and face um, integration, that's a triangle. How do I place that triangle someplace in the space? Um, I want to write something and I want to give it bullet points. If something above it is in black, then maybe that bullet point will be in blue with two black dots on either side of it, just to make it, you know, zing. Make it fun, make it interesting, make it clear and easy to understand. Position yourself wherever you need to to get out of the way of your points. Don't waste people's time writing something unless you know exactly what you want to write in order to emphasize something at a particular point. And plan your stuff out so you know exactly what you're going to write. Makes clear sense? Understood? You got it? Now you're ready to present anything to any Zoom situation with your whiteboard. Speak soon.